My name is Anthony Donahue. My little sister Gianna went to New York Presbyterian Children's Hospital over the last 11 years. She got brain cancer the first time when she was just 10 years old. We came to this hospital on a Saturday night in July of 2010 and life was changed forever. But the people at the hospital are amazing. They have so much love and compassion here. I always enjoyed coming here in the lobby during Christmas. It was always so nice, just laughing. The unicorn is alive because my sister is, thinks she's a unicorn now. <laughs> you really need help. You need help, seriously. Even in bad moments, I never had a bad day here, even during some of the worst, toughest moments. About a week after she was diagnosed with brain cancer, we were laying in the hospital one night. She was like, Aunt, are you up? And I'm like, yeah, what's up? And she's like, I'm scared. And I'm like, I get it, you know, we're all scared. And then she said, um, why me? And I remember I thought to myself and I just said, I don't know, gee, why any of these kids? And from that moment on, like, she just changed. She went from the wimpiest kid <laughs> to the toughest kid at the hospital, man. It was, she was incredible. We spent the last three months of her life here. It was tough, but you know, we made every day count. But this place, it's like family here. I felt so comfortable. Gianna made a lot of great relationships with the staff here. It was really amazing to watch her navigate her own day-to-day -day challenges. I'm more confident, yeah. I'm looking. I think we all learned a lot from Gianna. We learned the fight. We learned how to turn things around and every bad day isn't so bad. You can find something good to do in that day. She's taught me so much and when I think of her, I can't help but smile. One thing G said when she was sick is that she was fighting for everybody else. She wanted people to know like no matter what you're going through, it's gonna be okay. And that's how we live. Anthony stays connected with the social workers, stays connected with the doctors. He does toy drives. He understood how much of a difference crafts, toys, just things to keep the kids occupied, how much that meant to Gianna, and I really think that he's doing a great job in trying to keep her legacy alive. We started in Anthony and Gianna's toy drive in 2013. The toy drive was very special to G. It's special to me, but it was really special to G. It's important that um, I keep that going. It's very important. Just got to the hospital for Anthony and Gianna's ninth annual toy drive. Hey, How are how's you? How's it going? How's it going? Great to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. My pleasure. You Thanks. brought us some goodies? I did. I got about a hundred toys. The kids are going to be so excited. That's good. That's the plan. This is so fun. Here I got a, a, a race car set and a scooter. Oh, oh, here's some like socks that my, these are like the socks my sister loves, type. Yeah. Yeah, G was a big fan of like those big, thick, goofy socks. Oh, that's cute. Being sick really sucks. Is this your favorite toy? Obviously. <laughs> you know that. Yeah. All right, well, let's go bring this inside for the kids. Bringing the toys to this hospital means everything. I've been coming to this hospital since my sister was diagnosed with brain cancer back in the summer of 2010 and Gianna and I started this toy drive back in 2013. This is the ninth year. She would be ecstatic that I'm able to get all these toys from so many people. I feel her presence every second. She's in my dreams most nights still. Um, I feel her around me 24 hours a day, so, you know. We absolutely love Anthony. We're just honored to have been part of Gianna's journey and to still have this relationship with Anthony. It's been a long, crazy journey over the years. So. Don't ever be a stranger. Never, never. <laughs> this hospital means so much to both of us. It's like family here, you know? 